The origin of this idea was obviously the announcement of the Olympics in 2012 that adapted sports would be a real niche that Hackney, right next to the Olympic site, could measure. And true to their word, they've built this up and this year it's more spectacular than ever, including other boroughs and primary schools as well as secondary schools. There's always a big issue in sport about whether, whether you, you, you deal with just the top end, the elites, the, the people who are going to be professionals, or whether you, you want everybody playing sport. Um, the aim of the, to this event really um, is to raise the profile of the Paralympics in general to the point where it has as near as possible as high a profile as the Olympics. Um, but also the idea behind this tournament is so that teachers can see how easily they could, imp they could implement the sports being played here today, every child in their school, regardless of whether their ability or disability, can participate in the lesson. Right, uh, today we've been doing activities like water, um, water basketball and athletics, which has been going on over here. We've got sports like athletics, archery, goalball, judo, swimming, which you're doing, wheelchair basketball, sailing, um, and there's stuff like boccia, new age curling, and polybag. Today I've been doing swimming. Okay. We've been doing swimming here um, on the swimming pool. Uh, and it's quite it's fun. I love swimming because it was the first sport when I was a youngster that I'd done after I learned about my eyes, you know, that's why I go to the Paralympics because I have a visual impairment. Uh, for me, you know, it's about, you know, seeing youngsters, um, you know, hopefully inspiring them to get fit, to take part in sport and you never know, Hackney might not only just have me but hopefully produce champions of the future. First time coming here, and uh, I, don't, I thought wheelchair basketball would be, would be very hard, but it was actually quite easy. It kind of like you, you, like you were natural when you did it, so got used to it, so it became fun. I'm very passionate about playing basketball. It's my hobby. Um, I start at my own team. I started it in 1987, and the team is called Hackney Sparrows. Yeah, and today we are in the second division and over the years we have been all over the, the Europe playing basketball and today it was very good. Yeah, the final was very interesting, isn't it? Yeah, those guys was well into the basketball then, yeah? I think it's fantastic for the students. It's a, a great environment mm -hmm. for people to come and challenge themselves. Yeah. And everyone can find their own level that they, they want to challenge themselves at. So it could be getting in the boat or it could be falling off the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Do I think it's safe? Totally. Totally safe. Not much can happen to you that will. Anyway, because you won't join anyway. <laughs> it's much safer than people think it is. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Well, it's all about inclusion, really, yeah. because what's the difference? and it doesn't matter whether you're able or disabled, no. you can still get in and, and you're in the same environment and you have the same challenges. Yeah, it was, it was a good experience today. Like, it gives you more like, like your confidence, builds your confidence up. Like, yeah. Uh, we're doing the archery today for the uh, Paralympics competition that we're doing this week. So um, all the kids from Hackney primary schools and secondary schools can come down and participate in archery and other activities. 
It's going really well. Um, all the kids seem really, really anxious to do the archery. At the beginning, they're a bit nervous, but once they get into it, they're really enjoying it and they're actually they're leaving really happy. So, um, and also the fact that it is Paralympics, they also shoot on a chair, so it would be like they would get an idea of what it would be like shooting on a, in a wheelchair, for example. Yeah, it's pretty. It's buzzing a lot actually. Um, the kids come upstairs and they're looking at the boards and they're like amazed. And when they take the shots, they feel so so like lifted from that, so they're really enjoying it, really, really happy with that. When you go into most schools, in the past they've kind of worked with the disabled kids separately to the mainstream kids, but actually an event like this shows that you can get everybody together, working together, doing sport and enjoying sport. We've had two, nearly 2,000 young people come through the event and I've not heard one person say they've not enjoyed it. Yeah. 